Nikolai Kondratiev was a Russian economist who was born in 1892 and published his theory of long economic cycles in 1922. The Kondratiev cycle is similar to the economic cycle that we've learnt in previous lessons. It presents fluctuations in the rate of economic growth over time, and it has the same features of recovery, boom, downturn and slump. It is also known as the super cycle as it has the longest time period. This ranges from 50 to 60 years, compared to the 6 years of the typical business cycle. Kondratiev was the one who discovered that the long periods of time are due to the large investment in technology, and he did this by looking at historic data dating back centuries. The cycle uses the metaphor of seasons to describe the different parts of the cycle. These are spring, which has some growth, summer has the highest growth, which also comes with high inflation, autumn is a slowdown but still not a recession, and it has decreasing inflation, and winter has a contraction with lowest inflation and even deflation at times. Every wave of innovation slash inventions lasts approximately until the profits from the innovation falls to the level of the older sectors. This is because the technology which has up until now increased the production capacity by using different resources or improved the use of existing ones, at this point reached its limits, and it is not possible to overcome this limit without the creation of another new technology. In other words, a new technology can only take us so far. And at the end of an application phase, there is typically an economic crisis and or stagnation. The recession in 2007 to 2008 is being theorised to have been the result of the coming end of the wave of the information and telecommunications technological revolution. The time cycle is so large and there are so many variables, such that between economists there is no universal agreement about the end and start of the waves. Uh, Professor Goldschmidt searched for the patterns of the Kondratiev cycles of IT and health. He says that the correlation of historical growth phases in addition to the key technologies do not imply the regular existence of the cycle. His views were disliked by communist Russia because he was a supporter of the idea that capitalist nations experienced cycles and that they were not made path to destruction, which went against the communist dogma of the time when the world was experiencing the Great Depression. This led to him being put in a concentration camp in Siberia, where he faced the death penalty in 1938.